Hey guys, I'm Uday, writer and podcast host for The Cosmic Circus, and today I'll be unboxing another Marvel Collector Core box from Funko. This month's theme was Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, a box that was long overdue. I'm really glad that they're making this one, actually, because they've been skipping some Marvel projects lately. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what's in here, because for the past couple boxes, I've kind of known what I'm getting beforehand. Uh, but I have no idea what's coming in this one. Like, I don't think I've seen it and then forgotten. I think I really just have no idea. So I'm really excited about that. I also really just love this box art because I think it's it's really cool. I love, you know, kind of like the magic spell design. And I like how dark it is because the last one that I unboxed, the Disney Plus one, it was super bright. So it's kind of nice to see something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and get it open. And let's find out what is in here. So first up, oh, this is awesome. This is a Wanda pin. I do not use these pins, although I guess I have lanyards I could put this on. Um, but this is really nice because I believe there was a WandaVision pin that just came out, like for general purchase. Uh, but this is obviously different because it's the Multiverse of Madness one. And that's really nice to see. We also have a t-shirt. Oh, I like this. It's kind of like a black light design. And we've got Wanda, America, that's Wong, and then Strange, like in that, whoops, sorry. Um, and then there's Strange kind of in that, that pose that, you know, they've been seen on in some marketing materials together. So that's really cool. I really like this shirt. Um, I can't wait to open it, like, properly. And then, oh, I can already see the Funkos peeking through. We have an America Chavez uh, decal. That's cool, but... Um, not really useful. I wish they had. To ha I wish they had magnets or something in here, actually. And he. Oh, these are, these are disappointing Funkos, in my opinion. We have a Strange with Vipers and then a like Supreme Strange statue. So let's go ahead and look at these, like uh, properly. Um, I'm not. I'm not really impressed by either of these. I gotta be honest. Actually, this one is kind of cool. You know, I like I like kind of like this bronze look because I thought it'd be gray just from the picture. Um, so like that one's not bad actually, but I am kind of disappointed that there's no Wanda Funko in here because the movie's about like the movie's mostly about Wanda. Um, it is about Strange, but you know, like she's a very large presence, and so to get two Doctor Strange Funkos, uh, that's kind of disappointing to me a little bit. I mean, like, Strange with his Vipers or whatever, like, this was an okay moment in the movie, but I don't think it was anything super special. Not anything, like, Funko-worthy, in my opinion. Um, and we still don't have, like, a Wanda, like, all bloody or oily, like, fighting the Illuminati, and I think that this is a huge missed opportunity to not include her in this box. All right, well, let's go ahead and open up the Funkos first. Let's start with this guy. I mean, I guess he is kind of cool. It's just, I mean, I, I do like some of the effects going on there. So um, maybe I'll like him more when I take a closer look at him. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. Ooh, I feel like usually that's closed up on the top. That's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I, re I really like the color on this statue one. Okay, so we'll start with Viper Strange. Um... That is not good. Why are there, like, green scratches on this thing? I mentioned this on, like, my Dancing Zemo and my uh, Disney Plus box opening, but, like, these are collector's items. Why do they have, like, stuff like that on them? Um, so that's kind of irritating. I do think the Vipers are really cute. Um, again, I have no idea, like, I have no idea where they came from. Strange was summoning a lot of creatures in this movie, like, just with no explanation. Um, but, I mean, they're cute. Just look at them. They look so happy to be summoned. And they are interesting because, like, because of the swirly nature of them and then the way that they have, like, transparent to solid plastic, um, I, I think that they are cool. And, I mean, like, the stance is nice. It's a dynamic pose. I really hate Funkos that are just, like, standing in, like, one spot, um, which is why, like, this one is at least a little bit more interesting, like, with the cape and the stance, uh, because I, I need figures that look like they're actually moving and not, like, they're just statues, speaking of Funkos in this set are in this box. So, so yeah, I mean, th this guy isn't bad, and I guess this might be my first regular... Wow, yeah, actually, I, this is my first regular Doctor Strange Funko ever. 
Um, I have an Astral Form Funko from the 2016 movie, and I have like a, a Supreme Strange one from uh, from What If, but I think this is just like my first regular 616 Doctor Strange, so that's kind of cool. As for the statue of Strange Supreme, who is a different character from Supreme Strange, um, or is this Supreme Strange? I don't, it's so hard to keep this stuff straight. I, I think that this is Supreme Strange and the what if one is Doctor Strange Supreme. But anyway, I love this thing easily. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this. I've never seen Funko do something like this in a set. Like they've included stands for some of the Star Wars figures, but they've never done like a whole plinth like this. And I really, really love the cape here. It is still a bobblehead, but I like the way, you know, that it looks like it's blowing in the wind. I think this side is a little bit too close to the face for my comfort. Um, but yeah, overall, I am pretty happy with how this thing looks. I, I do think the color is just a little bit off. The color shown on the box and the leaflet is more accurate to the movie, like having it be kind of like a burnt like gray rather than a complete copper. Um, but I'm also glad that this thing is actually like the size of a regular Funko because from this image, like it does not look like it is. And so I was worried that it would be smaller, but no, it is just like a regular Funko, like on a stand. So I'm happy that it kind of like fits the same, um, like I'm, I'm, I'm happy it's like in the same, like kind of like size category. I don't know a better way to say that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that it's not like smaller or larger than regular Funkos. All right, now it's time to take a closer look at the t-shirt. Oh, this one feels like maybe softer than other ones. That's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I really like this design. I like the black light. Like this would be cool. Like this would be cool even if it was just like all of the characters in this pose. But the fact that it's in this kind of like black light design it looks like it or like day glow design like this looks like it belongs like at a rave or something <laughs> at a rave for people that like funko and doctor strange um but yeah like i just i really like the way the colors pop on this thing and i'm quite i'm quite pleased with this this might be my favorite funko shirt that i've gotten in quite a while i mean i liked the eternals one too um but yeah i just i really 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 like this one Okay, so overall, I feel like this is a pretty great box, actually. Um, I'm I'm pretty happy with this one. I think Collector Core has been kind of going downhill, like, in recent years, and then now they've kind of, like, been going uphill a little bit more. Um, but I've had a very mixed feelings about previous boxes. This one I have mostly positive feelings about. I really like the shirt. The decal is cool. The pin is cool. Um, there's just not stuff that I personally would, like, really use, which is why I said I'd like a magnet or something. And then the two Funkos are really good. It's just that I wish that instead of Viper Strange, we got Wanda, like, fighting the Illuminati, like, in that outfit with, like, all the Ultron-like oil, like, dripping down her face and everything. Because I think that that's, like, an iconic scene in the movie, much more iconic than Strange throwing a couple of Vipers at her that are killed in 10 seconds. Um, and so I really feel like she should have been the other pop. But that being said, I like Viper Strange a lot more than I did when I saw that it was Viper Strange. And it is a very well-made figure. And again, it's not boring, at least, which is more than I can say for, like, the Eternals Funkos, both of which I thought were pretty incredibly boring. And I have nothing but good things to say about the statue one. I just think that that's awesome. That one is definitely staying out on my desk, because uh, I just love it. So let me know what you guys think about this box, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at MyCosmicCircus. I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.